center sizes uh, and teach us uh, about all sorts of things positively, positive things. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Alero King and Impact with King Alero is now on. Enjoy it.
thing is, as long as him, you use simple English and the person is able to understand or comprehend what you have taught or said, and the person could give you a feedback, that means communication has taken place. Communication hasn't taken place when the person you're speaking to is not understanding what you're doing. So that's the key thing you need to know. But now I'll pick them one after the other. I'll start with the reading skill. Do you understand? You reading to comprehend on a written page, or even if it's not written, even if it's via electronics. Are you with me? So the key thing is, after reading, you are able to assimilate. You are able to understand um, what you've read. You are able to interpret what you've read by summarizing it afterwards or explaining it to somebody else. You've inculcated the habit of reading, and afterwards, you are able to do what? To explain it to somebody. And the person now gets what you're saying. That means reading skills are actually taking place. You knowing your spelling, you understanding the meaning of the words that you're reading, is also part of reading skills. You're observing the punctuation marks like writing, speaking, uh, sorry, punctuation marks like um, full stop, punctuation marks like question mark, explanation mark, and you are able to do what? Put all those punctuation marks at the appropriate place and also observe them when reading. So when you are reading and you are not able to do or to observe punctuation marks, you are reading, you are not able to, to, to spell well or to pronounce words well. It's a challenge. You won't be able to understand the passage. If you don't know the meaning of what you are reading, it's a challenge. So that is why you need to learn to do or to read. How do you do that? Make the dictionary your friend. So as a person, if you don't know how to communicate well, it's a problem. So if you want to learn to communicate well, feel free to contact Alero King on 0818095 And if you're outside Nigeria, plus 234 Plus 234 And you can also call our UK number the studio line plus 447 Nine three one one seven eight four eight six plus four four seven nine three one one seven eight four eight six and DJ Ali journalist will pick up your phone, will pick up the phone and give you a uh, feedback. The key thing I need you to know today is uh, the communication skills, reading, listening, writing, and speaking skills. For you to read effectively, you need to have the purpose of reading, you need to develop the interest of reading, you need to avoid unconducive environments, you need to study and acquire adequate knowledge of language. So for you to have good reading skills, you need to get important information about every text you read. You need to learn to um, paraphrase sentences. Learn to use your own words too after reading. So it shows that you understand the message properly. So everything you need to have a good reading skills is what I'm actually explaining to you. You don't stay in the Nancy business so you learn or you achieve. And we have different disadvantages of, of or I call it reading disabilities. We have um poor visual perception, we have regression, we have uh, other things that I need you to know, like uh, when you cannot read a word properly, you can't spell properly. Some people while reading the finger, the finger points, they start putting their fingers or they use head movements. It's not good, it's bad. It, it doesn't show that you have a good um, understanding or knowledge of what you're reading. So that is very, very what's important because you need to know it. And apart from that, you also need to understand that so many eye aggression is not good when you're reading. It's not good. So the key thing is inadequate knowledge of your basic linguistic is also a problem. So please take that into consideration. I want to write in skills. 
When she speaks, the ability for you to use your pen, for you to use your paper properly. There's always this thing that the the the, the flinted um, 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 pen is actually better than the sharpest pen. So if you feel that you know how to use your pen, no matter what you read, you always need to uh, uh, put it down. That is very very important. So your writing skill needs to get improved. It needs to get improved. How does it get improved in particular? Your writing skill gets improved when you make the dictionary your friend, always. It helps you to know how to write letters. It helps you to know how to um, um, compose words properly. It helps you to write poems very well. It helps you to also write essays. So you need to keep yourself abreast of the new words every day. Make the dictionary your friend, always. And you see that you develop yourself in writing. Obey the uh, rules in different um, grammar texts, like using your punctuation marks, using your paragraphs properly, using um, 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 your topic sentence properly. Understanding a written text is also very key. So please, I, I want you to please uh, always take note on your writing. Having a good handwriting also gives you an additional blood, an additional uh, blood. Uh, um, even these children more marks in school when they have good write-ups. When you can write very well, it's very, very good. But if you don't know how to write, there's this exercise book that we use here and it helps you. Is a is it 2D or 2B? You take your pencil, it's not until you have the finest handwriting that you'll be able to do that. So that is what I need you to do what on the stack. It's very, very important to improve your writing skills every day always summarize a book summarize a particular program summarize it and you will learn better have a separate book that you want to use to do what to learn and it's going to help you so the key thing i need you to understand is your written skill is a skill that you must have it's compulsory it's not only you listening alone, it's not only you speaking out the grammar and you can't write it. But know your tenses, know your usage of grammar. The singular and plural, the parts of speech, the nouns, verbs, the adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, interjection, conjunction, pronouns. The eight parts of speech or word classes are very important for you to know. So it will guide you to also know how to write properly. So if you want to learn more on how to write properly, how to learn, how to write to, feel free to contact me on plus 234-8180-959363. Plus 234-8180-959363. And you can also call plus 447-9311-78486. Plus 447-9311-78486. 78486. Moving forward to listening skills. How well do you listen? How well do you um, interpret whatever somebody tells you? How well can you adhere to instruction? Not just saying, I've heard. Hearing is different from listening. Hearing is, if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But listening is when you, when you, you've heard something, you need to go and do it, execute what you've heard. So that is why you need to learn to listen. Students or adults that don't listen, they're always disorganized. They're so, they always have mistakes in whatever they do. They are not always in order. So if you don't listen properly, there is a problem. And your listening is a key skill you must have as a person. Your listening skill saves you from so many mistakes. Your listening skill saves you from embarrassment, frustration, argument, stress. So, your listening skill saves you even money. If you don't listen very well, oh, you're being told to go pay some money to someone's account, and you go there, you don't, you can't remember the account, you didn't really listen to the person, you were in a hurry. You need to go back to the person, you bring the person up. You know, you save yourself stress. If you can follow or just adhere to instructions. Same thing happens even in school with students. Most students don't want to listen. 
They think they know each other. But when you listen, you learn more. But when you don't listen, you don't learn. So if you know you don't want to learn, why be in school? Why do you want to learn? Why, why are you in school? If you feel you know each other, you don't need to go to school at all. So that is the key thing I need you to understand. And in this one skills, how do you know that this person has listened to you properly? Ask the person, what did I say? Ask the person, what was the last thing I said? You will know if the person is following you or not. And you need to be focused when you are listening. If you are not focused, you will lose it from there. That is very important. Another one I also need you to know is this. I need you to understand that um, when you don't um, put what you hear, which is vital or important to you into practice, you tend to forget quickly. That's why I said if you are uh, listening to a broadcast or seminar or something, they talk that is, that is valuable to you. Always have a big man again. That's where the writing skills comes out, as I said earlier. So you inculcating the habit of reading too, as I said in reading skills, is important because what you write, what you listen to, you write it. What you write, you, you read it later on. What you read, you assimilate it. And what you have listened to, you'll be able to speak it. So that takes us to speaking skills. Speaking skills, the use of your sound come into place. It's not everybody that knows how to use sounds. Are you with me? But as long as you are able to communicate and the person understands what you're saying, pronouncing words appropriately is also very important. So that people will be able to differentiate between heard and hard. So heard, H-E-A-R-D, is different from H-A-R-D. So that is where speaking, you need to distinguish yourself from the crowd. Having good diction is very important. Having good diction brings you out. Having good diction says a lot about you. Having good diction makes you get new job opportunities. Having good diction, diction even helps you to have a, a, a more crowd for anything you do. When you're speaking in public, having good diction actually um, um, makes your words very, very firm, uh, more articulate, eloquent, and also brings out a command in you. So even your voice speaks for you. Your voice can be an instruction to somebody. So that is why you need to learn to speak very well. So your speaking skill is very, very well important. So you knowing how to pronounce properly, you need to go back to the basis, knowing your A, uh, B, uh, T, F, D. That's the ABC. I just said the sound. So you need to go back to the basis so you can speak properly. So you won't be mixing different things together that are wrong. So please, my wonderful is now out there. I need you to put all the four communication skills into place. What did I say earlier? We have four major communication skills, the writing skills, speaking skills, reading skills, and the listening skill. Communication skill, apart from the grammar or the general conversational part of it, communication is key. That's why we have WhatsApp. That's why we have text messaging. We have all the social media platforms. If you cannot bring somebody and you want to pass an information urgently, you do what? You use other social media uh, platforms. Especially for marriages, communication is vital. You don't communicate, you are losing. For relationship, even love dies without communication. Friendship dies without communication. And you with me, communication with family, with relatives, is very important. So, work on your communication skills today. If you've been failing in it, Work on it. When you communicate more, people who want to do what? Listen to you. They will have interest in you. They want to, oh, this person is always on point with communication. What do you put on Facebook? But please communicate positively, not negatively. Take note of that because words are like eggs. When they fall off, you can't pack them anymore. So use your ways to motivate people and not to kill people. Use your ways to build people and not to destroy people. So that is the key thing I need you to understand. It's really a good day here, and I really want you to do what? Learn more every day. Communication skills, communication skills, communication skills. You need to start touching people's life. What do you reach? How do you interpret it? What Mr. A will write is different from what Mr. B will write. So that is why your own idea of what I've written is different. So you need to back up your writing skills well. 
You don't write gibberish. You don't write nonsense. You write making cool sense. So that is what I need you to know. So, in fact, with King Galero, it's really emphasizing on communication skills. Do you communicate with your children at home as a parent? Or you leave them, you go watch movies, you go sit on your own, you don't come, no communication. If you go into a house, you will know that this arena, they are poor in communicating. You don't know what your daughter is eating, you don't know what she's doing, you don't even know the dress she's wearing, you don't know what's wrong with her, you cannot study her or he. That's a, there is a problem. Remember last week I spoke on parental guidance. So you need to put communication skills into parental guidance. If you don't have communication skills, something is missing. So parental guidance, with parental guidance, you need to add communication skills as one of your uh, um, um, spices to be a good parent or to have good parenting. So communication skills is really, really important. How do you talk to your children? Do you use abusive words? They will get used to it now. That's it. They will be, they will, they will be like, um, oh, my mom usually abuse people. I hope communication is abuse, 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 abuse. And that is why you need to know that you do not do it. You don't insult people. As the presence of your children or as the task of your children, you don't. You don't try it as much. So the key thing I'm saying in all is your communication skills can take you to places you don't even expect. Your communication skills can actually make you go to places you don't even intend to. So the key factor as a parent is communicate with your children effectively to have a good result. Children learn practically. They learn what they see, what they hear, what they see you doing as a parent. So if you as a parent, you are not showing good example, you will not be able to do what to pass good values to the kids. Even as a teacher, as a guardian, as an uncle or aunt, it's very important for you to communicate. Your dress sense can communicate something back to the children. The movie you are watching, the video you are playing can communicate something back to the children. So always sense it that this movie, this video I'm watching, what does it communicate? Does it communicate a good uh, uh, moral or value to the kids? So, if you know you don't want your children to listen or watch what you're watching and you know it's about the term, you don't tell anything when they're around. That's the key thing. How you communicate with your spouse in front of your kids. How? So, communication goes deeper than what you think. Communication is, is something that is um, it's limitless. You cannot limit it. You communicate in paper, you communicate in a, in, in, in a non-verbal manner too. The verbal or non-verbal manner. So you need to know what you're doing. That's why I keep saying every day that it begins with oneself. To change the world begins with oneself. To have a good communication skills, you need to improve yourself too. If you don't improve yourself, you cannot have a good communication skills. So the four major communication skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking skills, are the skills that everybody must have. It is inevitable in learning. No matter the field you are, no matter the sector you are watching, it is inevitable in learning. So that is what I'm trying to say today. So children, students, how do you communicate with your teacher? Do you take note of the five magical words I told you about? Please excuse me, sorry, thank you, pardon me, and may I do you understand? All those words are important because you get used to it at the end of the day. So what are you passing? What knowledge are you passing? So tackle with respect, tackle with good attitude. It also applies in communication skills. So if I'm communicating with you, oh, sorry, thank you. May I use the restroom, please? You know, they are very good ways of communicating. But when you start using abusive words, that you want to correct your child and you're busy saying, are you alright at all? Are you okay? What are you passing to the child? You're not passing something good to the child. You are not. What you're passing is you're indirectly insulting the child. And what you speak of when your child happens in the future as a parent, if you don't know that. So that is why you need to start praying for them and stop cursing them. Stop telling them, oh, my child can never be better. You know? Your child will do better. Preach positive things into your child's life and you see as the glory of God works in your child. 
So as a parent, you need to take the bull by the horn. You need to be fair a bit, you need to be flexible a bit, you need to balance it. Because these children are learning every day from you. They are first contact, and when you take them to school, they are teachers too. So teachers please have a good way of communicating, have a good means of um, of um, speaking to children. Have a good means of speaking to yourself as colleagues at work. So if you're busy abusing yourself in front of your uh, colleagues or students or in front of your friends, it doesn't speak well. What home are you coming from? You are an ambassador of your home. So if you feel like you can just knock any out anywhere, not minding where you are, it's bad. And add to instruction. If they say in your place of work, use the command of English, please use English. If they say, oh, you can use your when you have your classes, please do. So your trust is also communicate something. Your manner of working communicates something. So you need to always learn to communicate positively. So we want to say that uh, communication skills is inevitable in life. In total, communication skills are being tested. In um, in um, IELTS, communication skills are tested. In IGST, communication skills are being tested. So it's very important for you as a child to know that communication skill is inevitable in life. As I'm about the same thing. So all we need to do in this world, even in social places, in formal places, you can never, never do without communication. Can you do without talking? Never. Can you do without dancing? Dancing. In dancing, you communicate something. In plays, in dramas, you communicate something. In teaching, you are communicating. So please, try to communicate appropriately. Try to use the right words at the right time. Try to do the right things at the right time. Do not miscommunicate bad things and you don't want to listen to correction. I want to say thank you to the people who made this program possible. From the table of AYO Radio UK, we want to say thank you to our listeners. And I also want you to search AYO. Just tune in and search AYO Radio UK. Always listen to our program. Stay tuned and you'll be educated. It's fun, it's entertaining. With DJ and journalists and my other colleagues, my other podcasters. We love you all, our wonderful listeners. And we want to say thank you for impact with King Galero by listening and staying So We love you all. Send your messages, send Facebook messages as well. We'll give you feedback. Plus 234 Plus two three four eight one eight zero nine five nine three six three. And you can also send to plus four four seven nine three one one seven eight four eight six. Plus four four seven nine three one one seven eight four eight six. Thank you so much for being part of the program. I you say have a wonderful Valentine celebration. Please don't do what I will not do. I love you all and I always want you to know that someone cares, and Little King cares about you, and she's always ready to talk to you any day, any time. Go to my Facebook page, King Alero, K-I-N-G-A-L-E-R-O. Go to my Instagram page, at King Alero, K-I-N-G-A-L-E-R-O. Same as NYO Radio UK. Everything will come up. TJ Ali Journalist, lovely programs you've got to. Thank you for always being part of AYO Radio. We love you all. We are in the studio. We say bye. What a fantastic radio show from King Alero, Communication Skills. Yes, we on AYO Radio, we do that very well. Well, we try our best. You get me? Nobody is perfect. But communication skills is very very important. I hope you've learned a lot from this radio show from King Alero. And today's topic was communication skills. Yeah, I've been watching her again and again every week on AYO Radio. Just to let you know that she's also a broadcaster on Unilag FM. So watch out for her. She's good. She's got very, very vibrant voice, I'm telling you. So, um, ladies and gentlemen all over the world, just to let you know, especially people in Nigeria, just to let you know that um, AYO Radio is coming to Nigeria, it's coming to Lagos to be precise. And in Lagos we have variety of programs that we the 
uh, presented to you. We have beauty pageant. We have uh, a cooking competition show. The cooking competition show is the main one. So, uh, and also we have a graduation party coming up. I know everyone is graduating now, or you've graduated already, or you might be graduating in March. So, all the graduates come down there, and there's also going to be a swimming pool party. And guess what? AYO Radio is the first online radio station to start giving out loans to all uh, our presenters. Uh, I don't think you heard me very well. AYO Radio UK is giving loan to all our presenters. So, wow, you better hurry up, come and join us. And also we have... Um, in Lagos in March, we also have a talent show, Be the Best Talent. We always, always have it, money to be won, and also awards. So you will be the best talent, uh, and you get an award for it. So watch out for that. Um, also, um, coming out today, Pastor Kadiri is actually uh, making a debut of his gospel show today that is coming on at 12 o'clock today so please keep it in your diary don't forget that even if you're in the church i'm not saying break the church rule you can listen to ayo radio via tuning radio tuning app so all you have to do is just download the tuning app and then search for a.y.o radio and you will see the station with charisma. Yes, that's who we are. Keep listening to AY Radio. Please don't touch the dial. Um, my name remains DJ Ali Journalist still. And have a lovely Sunday.